guys, Camille Lambert, field agronomist for Kentucky and Southern Indiana. I'm back at the Kentucky PFR facility and I'm standing in one of um, the hottest topics right now and that is our Zyue fungicide trial. It is a new product from FN's FMC. Flutriafol uh, is the active ingredient and we are really excited about this study but I wanted to show you guys what we've been seeing in this study because I think a lot of you across my territory have been seeing kind of the same thing. So right here in this study we've got four different treatments. We have a control, uh, we have a half rate in furrow followed by an R3 Lucento application which also has the same active ingredient Flutriafol followed by an SDHI. Um, then we have a full rate in furrow here. We have a full rate two by two by two, and then we'll have just an R3 Lucento application. So we've got four different fungicide treatments with the control out here. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what we've been seeing. So Flutriafol can actually act as a PGR. It's gonna promote healthier roots, stalks, vegetative tissue. We've seen a lot of really good third-party data from universities out of this, but when they're testing fungicides, they wanna get disease, right? So a lot of times they're planting later in the season so that they'll get the foliar disease pressure to see if that active ingredient is providing control or not providing control. So with that being said, we plant early. We always recommend people planting early when the soil conditions are 50 degrees or above. Well, last week we experienced a really big cold snap through throughout a lot of my territory. The soil temperatures got anywhere from 46 to 47 degrees, which is pretty cold. We didn't accumulate hardly any GDUs for the entire week, um, and so stuff just sat there. And so we were able to see a lot of differences pretty easily uh, because the lack of heat units that we accumulated. After talking to FMC, um, they, they are noticing this PGR effect, and it's about a 24 heat unit delay that they're seeing. So I want to show you what I've been seeing out in the field. Okay, so I am in between our two by two by two and in furrow treatments and I just did stand counts on on two of the reps here and we have uh, 33,000 right here where I just counted this is two by two by two and 34,000 on our in furrow so I'm gonna show you guys the picture um, early on there was an obvious delay in emergence like I said that 24 ish degree GDU delay it was showing um, but we we didn't have any any heat accumulating so this kind of just sat there this was all planted on April the 9th um, so it was right at the right at the end of that window that I've been kind of observing throughout my territory it seems corn that was planted anywhere between uh, the 4th of April and about the 9th of April um, are experiencing the same delay but you can tell that we have good even emergence out here um, so I'm gonna pan over to the two by two okay so I'm standing right in between our two by two by two and our in furrow you can tell that there is essentially no difference in plant height maybe a tiny bit but we have very very even emergence out here the plants are uniform um, and they look really good so I think now that we're over this little cold snap issue uh, I'm still really excited about this study so let me hop over to the control so here's the control so you can see what it looks like as well um, we have very uniform stand throughout this entire study okay I'm standing in the fungicide timing Zywe, uh liquid study this is the control so you can see it's up it's up nice a little hard to see so next is a half rate in furrow you can see that we are delayed in the emergence this is 8.3 ounces of zawe in furrow and we're going to follow up with an r3 fungicide lucinto next is let's see right here this is our two by two by two so you can tell that we did not have a delay in emergence here we're up good and the next pass is a full rate in furrow so we've got some delayed emergence happening here it's just popping out of the ground. 
This is a study that I am really excited about. I think once we get some disease pressure moving in here later in the season, that it's going to be something that everybody's going to want to see. So come on a tour this summer, and this can be a study that you can see in person at our Kentucky PFR location or any of the other locations within our territory. Have a good day. Thank you.